Hi, and welcome to the subject-specific video for AP Biology using MrKanofke.net. So we're only gonna focus on the AP Biology-specific stuff. We've got a link over here for AP Bio, and you can click any of these to go to any of those pages. We've got stuff down here for AP Biology, and you can click any of those to go to pretty much the same pages. And we've got links up here. So I'm gonna use this top link. I'm just gonna click on AP Bio, and this is gonna load the AP Biology page, which is just mrkanofke.net backslash AP hyphen biology. Here's our table of contents. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. We've got these domain pages. We'll come back to those in a second. And we've got sub pages for each of the domains. And then we've got our class resources. So we've got a master list of labs, uh, exam review materials, a Google collection of exam review materials, all of the course prezies on one page if you want them. We've also got other video resources. So it's totally cool to use things other than what I give you. And in fact, I would definitely encourage you to do that as you move through your year in AP Biology. So this is a link to Mr. Paul Anderson's uh, Bozeman Science AP Biology channel. You can get to this. I've also linked to the relevant ones on the PDQ documents. More about those in a second. Crash Course Biology with Hank Green. You can check those out. Crash Course Ecology. Uh, Mr. Kuhn is down in Georgia. He does some interesting videos on science practices. And then a couple of years ago, I was asked to do a project for a group called Get a Five. And uh, I was asked to record a bunch of videos for AP Biology. They're all free, but you do have to enroll in the site in order to get access to them. They're not hosted on YouTube. Then we've got web links. So we've got a list of AP Biology web resources and then other web resources. If you're looking for something like a free web browser or any of those items, you can definitely get to them from there. But let's go back and let's look at a domain page specifically. So let's start with domain zero. I'm gonna open up that link. I'm just gonna open up each of these links in turn and we can go through them. I'm actually gonna go in reverse order. We've got a link to my discussion notes from the domain. I'm not trying to hide those from you. You can get to them whenever you want. And so these are my discussion notes from the domain. Print them out. Now they are written by me for me. So it may be a little bit higher level than something you're looking for. But if it's useful, by all means, I'm really not trying to hide anything from you over the course of this year. We've got all of the labs on one page here. And when you click the links below it, you just get linked to that particular part of the page. But if we looked at domain zero, it would have linked you right here. And we only do the pill bug behavior lab during that domain. But you can see all the labs that we'll be doing over the course of the year. And then we've got the activities. So these are different course aligned activities that we do in class. Uh, some of them will be posted here. Some of them can't be posted. Depends on copyright and things like that, but they'll all be listed here and you can always access them there. And then we've got the actual domain page. So these are the slides that we use in class. You can go through those if you want. They're always linked here. And then we've got the course prezies. Above each prezi, we've got a link for pre-discussion questions. And then we've got the prezi itself. There's only one discussion here. So you can start the prezi from here, but I wouldn't. What I would do is I would go to that pre-discussion questions link. And so here are the instructions for this. We've got the link to the presentation here. So I would go ahead and open it from there. And then what you really should do is you should open the presentation and you should go through it you should interact with it it's loading here but you should take notes on it you should however those notes work for you and we'll talk more about what notes should look like in class but whatever you need for those notes to look like you should do that as you go through this presentation before you do anything else and then when you're done you can leave the Prezi page and you can come back and you should look at these questions to answer down below. You shouldn't do this before you take the notes, in my opinion. You should look at these questions to answer afterwards and try to answer them. See which ones you can answer, see which ones you can't. And the ones that you can't, those are the ones that you should really target in on and make sure that you ask about those going forward. Or you can try to educate yourself on them. So you can check out some of the supplementary resources. You can go to the right place in the textbook. You can do whatever you need to do to get a handle on that information before you come into class. In class, we'll have discussion about the content, but it won't be exactly in the same order as it is in the pre-discussion content. So you definitely want to make sure that you've identified the questions that you have and the things that maybe you don't understand, you want to identify them before you come to class. It's really going to help how class runs. But that's basically it. That's the AP Biology specific stuff here. Remember that on the Prezies, you can always get in touch with me by leaving comments below the Prezies. I'll get those notifications. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of this, don't hesitate to uh, bring them in with you to class and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I really appreciate it. Have a great day.